Aloha. I want to do a quick video on uh, good and evil. I just had a <clears throat> a thought that uh, I wanted to share real quick and then see what comes after that because um, it's relevant to uh, speak on good and evil in these words we're we're really playing with language here trying to understand because la language is so damn limiting and so clunky it feels like trying to <clears throat> drive a car through space or something like a old or ride a bike in space it's it's weird uh like when you have feelings and emotion and um intuition and all kinds of different perspectives and everything <clears throat> language is a thing that's why I, I kind of go into like words that are not really words or if, if something comes out differently then you, that whole feeling of you know what I mean that sort of thing that you know what I mean feeling that's a language in itself um, but to stay on topic um, because this, the way this is designed, the way trending, the trending page is designed, is, um, it's a program. Like, it's definitely, you can see how the internet has evolved, how, um, how, um, Yahoo, Yahoo page, the, the web page, the home page has evolved. Um, how Hollywood and movies have evolved to from Cowboys and Indians to 2001 Space Odyssey to They Live to uh, Big Trouble in Little China at the same time frame and to Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull <coughs> to um, Armageddon to the new Independence Day and the new Star Wars and all these th these are definite programs and these actors um, what we call shitty actors today um, were like mainstream actors back in the day they were like and even the actors today are like they're all telling you how to think how to feel how to speak how to raise your children, uh, what's funny, what to wear, what to eat. All this is being programmed, and that's the that's the intent of this, and uh, of <clears throat> the 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 mainstream everything, the politics, the public education system, the university system, the the science community. Uh, that it's to tell you that. It's designed to tell you that, oh, yeah, this is for you. This is, a, yeah, as they beat you down with a billy club or shoot you, um, constantly telling you this is for you. Um, but we all know this is, this is for uh, a particular group of individuals. And you can, as, as far as you can go, you can narrow it down and... If you want to relate that to being evil, <clears throat> then, um, yeah, I mean, that's you can explain that. That's very fucked up and very definitely an evil thing to do when you're talking about an entire race of beings, an entire uh, consciousness within this earth plane being manipulated to self-implode and self-destruct. Um, and these these movies are all algorithms to get you to reproduce, to get you to get married, to get you to want to go to this job, to get you to love the American dream, to get you to go to the military and kill people on the other side of the world, um, to get you to um, teach your kids to do a certain thing or buy a certain thing Christmas all this stuff Thanksgiving all these holidays that are invented it, it all keeps us in this low vibrating state of um, dormant experience to where we don't really get to 
explore the higher planes. Obviously, cannabis is criminalized. Mushrooms are criminalized. Ayahuasca is criminalized. All the things that take you into an expanded aware awareness and expanded consciousness are all off limits for you. And <clears throat> if that's the design, you see what's legal. You see the downer, the depressing shit, the shit that's going to kill you. Cigarettes are, are there to kill you. Um, alcohol is there to depress you and kill you and uh, separate the family and separate everything. It's just destructive, but they got it. They're celebrating it. It's not only legal, it's being celebrated. Every other commercial is a beer commercial. Every other commercial is... The, the the Dos Equis guy sending that dude up in some spaceship or something like he's going to Mars like this is all very much a, a design and uh, it's all connected so if we see that the thing the thing that I <clears throat> that I get a lot is that people have difficulty believing that um, or even entertaining the idea that uh, all this stuff is connected because they want to believe that they want to believe something now even that word belief is is so like rich in people that it exists um, more vibrantly in our reality than um, intuition and, and uh, uh, the true connection and like the true understandings of what we are because these people are they on purpose are insecure about talking about their beliefs and their their total uh, connections. Um, <clears throat> like back in the day, it was like there's two things you don't talk about is politics and religion, and these are all codes to get you to stay in that. They're all anchored in these these generations. Of, uh, of our own culture, our own family, our own peers. And we keep ourselves in this, like, ooh, don't talk about that. Ooh, no, no, no. Ooh. And then it, and go into a further ex expression of, oh, well, I, I don't think that. Like, these are, like, we get into, like, thinking these motherfuckers are our friends or something. Like, we... Like we oh Seth Myers, he makes me laugh. He's my friend. He's talking about Bernie Sanders and and Hillary Clinton. This is important. What the fuck? These people don't give one fuck about you. Not one. They put these shows out here to make you think a certain way. Like if if there's a bag of shit they want you to subliminally think about, then they'll put Donald Trump out there and make him think that you can have a bag of shit for president <clears throat> because uh we've already had some bags of shit <clears throat> we just call them different names like george bush and uh obama and clinton and reagan and uh the other bush like all these <clears throat> all these people are designed to uh, our bags of shits in a, a suit with a tie and uh, an American flag lapel pin, literal blood of the Native Americans on their lapels. But people, people, the the thing is to take focus off of, of uh, like our feelings, our our true emotions, our true connections, our true, like when they talk about freedom and all this, like free, oh yeah, we're the freest country and all this other shit. And I'm like no, this is. It's a total opposite agenda when you see that we have the most people in prison. So, <clears throat> in relation to good and evil, uh, the true good, the true goodness exists in like uh, the child mind, um, in the hearts of uh, children, and the the space that is not corrupted by these these earthly. Um, perspectives, this earthly focus, and once you get to that space, it's very like quiet. It's very simple. Uh, when you ask children, uh, or even old, <clears throat> older individuals, the 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 wise people, the elders, it's the same thing. Uh, it's the, they're closer to their source, 
once we get into this middle ground of uh, the internet and politics and all that shit, then we start to get distracted by our surroundings, locked into the physical reality, separated from our dreams, and start to say, oh, this is what good and evil is. It, it can be manipulated to feel and look a certain way. <clears throat> So we say, oh, Hillary is less evil. She's good. And or Bernie Sanders is less evil. So he's good. And Trump is obviously the evil one. So <clears throat> that's that simple ass programming, this condition that uh, we get caught up in when we graduate from high school and then we go to become adults and have to be engaged in the adult world we have to talk about adult things all this shit is because we've been told and programmed this is what this is about we've been told that our dreams don't exist we've been told that um we are we are democrats and republicans or democratic socialists or or um Whatever the labels that get put out there to distract you from your your uh, true center, your true connections, even into the extremes of the science community separating you from your your great spirit, your most high, um, and going into the, the religious backwards magic of um, creating an, uh, an, an expansive algorithm of separation that is designed to look like a connection when you see um, preachers and ministers all about the money and only about you know just come to church bring that money and just listen to this this is what we say what we say it exists and we have this whole like it, they're selling emotion it's selling like the, the the louder they get the more emotional they get when they talk about Jesus and and the God Almighty, they, you can see that there's people that exist to where they're they're um, really far gone, so far gone over the the uh, the balance beam of true connection true to their essence true connection to that great spirit um way over the line into the louder my voice gets the more sweat that comes down my face that's 10 more dollars in that collection plate so as soon as this money gets involved in this scenario this is where you're playing with good and evil and um the, the, the so-called good that we call, like, a lot of it is um, very definitely on the other side of that understanding. And um, uh, I just wanted to address this as a whole, because I didn't even guess, I <laughs> still haven't even got to um, what I was thinking about yet, because uh, it's, it's pretty simple um, how I was feeling in it. It matches what I was talking about. But this is, I'll say it in a second, but I wanted to, because I haven't scrolled down this trending, this morning's trending page. So I wanted to see what comes up with all this Trump shit. You can see how the superheroes of the CW extended trailer. Those are your superheroes. That's what they look like. Six pregnancy tests, Kim Kardashian and Snapchat's pregnancy scare. <gasps> I know some people have watched, uh, well, maybe not much, many people, but, um, oh, there's that, uh, Star Trek. Yeah, I wanted to talk about that, too. There was something I wanted to talk about, Star Trek. This is a new TV show coming out next year. A new Star Trek, which is just NASA. So, distraction from um, <clears throat> alternative uh, understandings of our Earth plane and uh, more. And bombardment. So, this is all bombardment. You're bombarded by sexual energy. You're bombardment. You're bombarded by 
by um, what you think your life should be all about, who you think you are, who you think you like, all this shit. Like it, it, it's it's a complete um, which could be seen as evil, an evil program or a mirror, a, a dirty mirror, a broken dirty mirror. And, uh, Miranda Sings tries Asian snacks. Origin of Conspiracy Theories. That, I watched that yesterday, and it was just this gibberish bullshit that I was just like, what the hell? Full of shit. Celine Dion. It's just nonsense. It's just keep you. It's a Yahoo homepage for your waking state. That's what. <clears throat> that's what the entire mainstream pop culture, political, political game, education system, university system. It's all a big ass distraction from you. <clears throat> and when we see how important it is to distract us from. Uh, From just the moment, from just like being um, quiet, like outside of that that vibration of like what Donald Trump makes you feel like, or what um, Kardashian, the, even the word makes you feel like instantaneously. The Kardashian, that word is it makes people feel. If we were to slow down enough and see it on a chart. A whole bunch of things would spike and a whole bunch of other things would go down like it's a whole thing. So when we hear <clears throat> each each one of these videos is like the word Kardashian and in, in its own format. So it brings you up and down, up and down, up and down. But the overall um, the overall program is the downward spiral. Like, the Kardashians weren't famous before. Like, the Kardashians wouldn't be famous in the 90s. Like, when Lauren Hill, the Fugees, Aaliyah, um, and all these other, these other, like, that time frame of uh, Public Enemy and all that. So, like, this shit, what, this, <clears throat> this, this fashionable, um, famous for nothing, uh, fake ass, literally reality is um yeah this this stuff wouldn't exist the way it exists today but it's it's what we call normal uh bet awards wilda beast adams and janelle janestra i don't even, this is crazy <sighs> separation programming so anyway i guess i'll end it uh with um, my thoughts on good and evil. Um, goodness definitely exists uh, when you observe just like the heart of a child that's in everybody, your inner child space. And then beyond, you can feel the spirit. Uh, it's easy to, to see that. And, it, and this goes into what I was thinking at the same time is that <clears throat> we are an expression of uh, what has already happened so we are we are growing and allowing more uh, light into our lives and allowing more understanding of the darkness and the balances of this reality on one level um, but these wars these these um, high vibrational <clears throat> fights that involve uh, terminologies like good and evil they've already been fought on many then and they've already been they're they're still being uh, addressed on higher vibrations um, mainly uh, what I wanted to come from right now to kind of just expand it uh, the angels so if you believe in angels or whatever now i'm just i believe in the angelic energy <clears throat> and um 
or whatever that word is. It's beyond belief. It's a it's a connection in uh that's on the same vibration as a connection to great spirit or the most high. And um the angel <clears throat> energy has already been engaged with this um this what we call evil. So the very fact that evil is um existing in a space where angels are engaged in combating that energy uh in in different kinds of formats uh our vibration here on the earth plane is really um a very kind of watered down version of what what that that good and evil space is and that ongoing battle on higher dimensions and different planes it's happening <clears throat> here it's happening in different spaces but when we make our connections with um, the angelic space and what we call understanding evil I was taking it to a space of saying that well us as humans are very um, like in this realm like simple in comparison to the complexities of the angelic form and if we truly understand that we are protected in a space of that whole system then really that storyline of good and evil is just a matter of choice for us in this moment in the waking state moments um, we we have been convinced that we have to drop over dramatize um, our understandings of things uh, a lot of the times because of this program that has made us turn everything into a movie we we see everything through the eyes of a camera and we see everything through the eyes of a director and a producer and a format and this yeah this and and celebrities actors we see everything from that space and from how from the from the pictures that are that are constantly um, embedded in our reality and that dramatizes everything um, but that's just one way to see it uh, in relate good and evil and in relation to like a a movie is different than good and evil in relation to a connection to the angels and your spirit and <clears throat> uh, and just like the heart of a child or the heart of an elder um, the, the beyond the space of fear basically is where I was getting getting it um, we we don't necessarily have to uh, include the energy or the vibration of fear when we're talking about or thinking about evil because if you are connected with your space your existence that is beyond um, this physical reality uh, then things get more they get they get simpler they get more in tune with the allness of our of our observations and less uh, bombarded with the dramatic versions of interpreting our reality so I just kind of wanted to expand on that observation uh, because the news is flooded with an algorithm algorithms of um, distraction and fear uh, implants and uh, same goes for the movies and all this other stuff and this has been embedded in the, in the ways we've uh, interpreted our own realities and uh, raised our children and um, 
our connections with the uh, the more vibrant expressions of our reality are very much affected by uh, how we envision our reality, how we interpret things like uh, demons and um, angels and um, good and evil and everything. And when we get these these uh, pre-packaged, uh, like lunch lunchable version uh, definitions and and understandings handed to us, and then we just eat it and regurgitate it. It's it's not the maximum space that we could be uh, working towards or or even um, expressing in that moment. If we just take a moment to to like slow down and expand it even further because we are always that expanded space we're always that allness reality and um, for the sake of wanting to <clears throat> explain things or um, not offend people or not go too far or not talk about the taboo or whatever we we kind of water everything down um, and don't don't go to that depth on a regular basis and that that kind of like separates people a lot of the times because we're so used to the shallow seas the shallow um, connections that are really um, it's it's dangerous to go there because people are um, there's a lack of life there there's a lack of water there like it's so shallow it's dry uh, our interactions, our our understandings, we uh, we dry out because we don't we're, we're too scared to dive into, you know, what we really feel or um, scared to even find out what we really feel about stuff or and definitely don't want to share it with somebody. We might lose your friends. You might lose. You're de very definitely gonna lose people that are close to you once you start expanding. And that's not a bad thing because you're not losing anybody. You're just, you're gaining yourself. You're helping them gain themselves and they're not going anywhere. They're, they're where they're always going to be, um, which is never disconnected from you. And that connection can be, it can only get better. So the next time you do link up with somebody that you've lost in the past or whatever, it's going to be on a deeper space as long as you hold hold true to to what it is and who you are as far as um, your journey goes. Uh, and these, these programs that are out there, um, they're, they're meant to uh, express or... Um, amplify insecurity so we we get stuck in that that trap and um that trap of uh, good and evil and you know what is this and, uh, oh this this person is is that person and that this it's a whole it's a whole bullshit game and uh we lose focus on on um on like the 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 realities of things that are very simple very very simple like when people for people to see chemtrails in the sky like because there it, it changed for people to see chemtrails in the sky and then be like oh those are contrails <laughs> like a lot more people in the past used to think like that and now people are, are more comfortable with talking about chemtrails. But the very fact that people defend shit like that, instead of automatically looking into it, it's like, what the hell is a chemtrail? Like, instead of having that reaction, people are just like, oh, that's just a contrail. That's really fucking... And that comes, that sentiment comes from this, this arrogant-ass reality here that is just like, oh, yeah, this is, you know, this is how you see things. Cause, because these people, this energy doesn't talk about that kind of stuff. So it makes you act and think and feel a certain way. And <laughs> this is, yeah, 
this is what this program does it it makes people think like that and then in relation to the mandela effect it makes people question their own reality as a whole their own memory their own um intuition their truth like <clears throat> when you ask somebody something and then um, you can see them knowing and they actually say like oh yeah i remember that and then after that change their change their story because it doesn't match this program like it doesn't match this god it doesn't match that yeah fucking gecko lizards selling you insurance insurance for insurance like, you know, everywhere yeah so this this program um is a mind it makes you think a certain way and if they don't talk about it if they don't act in in um in the world that you are addressing then um, it doesn't exist to people, and they'll have to defend or ignore uh, what doesn't exist to them and their friends, their Kardashian vibrations, uh, and that's that's that's, in my opinion, is like one of the most evil things you can do because it separates people um, from themselves and their their most high connection potential like uh, that's what this whole design is about so this is like the nice part and uh, a, a part of that is the new age deception and all that other stuff it's separating people from that by keeping it oh yeah well I, I I just believe in this and and those are those people and and this is happening and and uh, oh everything is okay it's all love and light or well okay but you know there's still this right next door to you happening you know where's the love and light in there oh no that's their world it's, don't they like, it's just another version of distraction you know and this it's um another version it's like diet evil it's like coca-cola crystal pepsi that's what it is crystal pepsi that's still, that shit still gonna kill you. You're thinking you go, oh my goodness. I think I'll end on Crystal Pepsi. So yeah, um, <laughs> that, that whole uh, world, this whole world right here, um, Hollywood movies, Tomorrowland shit, all that. Um, I wanted to just share on really how. What I'm seeing is evil is the most softest shit that's out there. The Crystal Pepsi, the stuff that's the new age itself. That's the most fucked up. That's the most evil thing that I'm seeing. The United Nations, um, new age, new world agenda, the channeler shit, all that stuff. Um, and I'm going to take this moment to be like, I don't give a fuck about, you know, for right now in this moment, I don't give one fuck. To share this moment right now. I don't give one shit about the good stuff that's coming out of Chandler's and the good stuff that's coming out of the new age. I'm a very aware of that. For this moment and ending in this video right now, I'm going to say we need to start looking at the fucked up stuff that's coming out of the new age and coming out of Chandler's as a whole and relating it to this version of reality and seeing how it's no different and if you go to the the the, the more compassionate space of connection and what it's really connected to it's actually worse it's worse than ted talks it's worse than star trek it's worse than donald trump and uh Celine Dion and all this other shit that's designed to keep you in this distracted world because they're distracting you with um, stuff that's supposed to be good for you and you know we're all on our journey everybody goes in their own way yeah I understand this stuff for this moment 
I want to I want to expand the fact that uh, that's this this the most fucked up stuff that's really going on. So yeah, in relation to good and evil, that's my thoughts on it, and uh, I don't want to over dramatize it, and I don't personally do it myself. I'm aware of this space. I'm aware of that. It never because it. it to, to dramatize it is to exist in the future of the space and uh, it's easy to go there because these these movies all do this all th this program all does that um, but to have this knowingness and uh, that we are an expression of our higher selves and connected to related to uh, the angelic frequency that which is one step um, one step to the left and right of the most high and the great spirit then um, these energies are already being um, danced with and uh, understood <clears throat> on there on those higher planes so when it comes down to the physical reality expressions. We're really just talking about choices. And um, really choices and uh, how we decide to engage our reality in in a focus group or in a, in a focus at all. So when we see that this stuff right here is, is, is to steal our focus and to program our focus which is just the energy of consciousness as a whole then um, we see how really important it is for us to um, start to focus our lenses on um, to clear clear the lenses off focus them zoom in zoom out see the entire storyline so we can allow these energies to be more um, fluid in our reality that's pretty much it so thank you for joining me until next time peace love and harmony